first of all let me walk you through the steps of creating custom header in wordpress i have this header with address and social icons on top a logo with home page link a navigation main and drop down menu with link over effects and two buttons for login and sign up now log into your wordpress website and uh, install these two plugins elementor header and footer builder and second one is fist widget and sticky elements for wordpress and uh, i'm gonna use this menu you can create new one from there okay again go to your uh, dashboard and here go to uh, appearance and elementor header and footer builder simply what you have to do is you can and uh, delete uh, the old one header i have deleted the old one header here and i'm gonna add new i'm gonna type any name here like uh, header test design select header from here and uh, choose page conditions entire website publish now you can edit it using elementor so uh, i'm using a fixed uh, i'm using a plugin for this one okay uh, so you can add simply uh, two columns here in this container and uh, select it to full width okay now click here and uh, add this one here also this one should be full width okay now click here to uh, add a background color like this color i'm gonna use here simply click here and go to style classic and here paste the color now this is the background color here now there the background color will be obviously i will go for white okay so you will add a heading here here and here social icons here i'm gonna use image as logo you can put logo as well here menu navigation menu and uh, here a button okay and uh, we will uh, duplicate this button in after click here and uh, you can copy the address okay i have copied the address and uh, let me change this heading to h5 and uh, go to style go to typography and uh, weight should be medium 500 and the color obviously i will use white and uh, click to minimize the size of these icons and uh, this should be like circle and uh, go to style it should be around 18 okay now let me add a logo here like uh, i'm gonna use this image as a logo this is image i'm gonna use uh, this is menu menu is this this one i'm gonna use i told before and uh, i'm gonna use the same color this color for text color here okay so and let me go to typography and uh, i will use like 600 here and uh, i will design everything in after like uh, you can create hover and uh, hover effect you can create to it to black and uh, link hover effect like underline this is underline and uh, you can go it to like uh, dropout as it has been used before in this one so go for that one uh, you can uh, paste the same color i have copied from there okay so uh, now i'm gonna uh, set up drop down this is drop down and uh, i'm gonna paste hover background color 
the same as I want and uh, the text color should be white when I hover and uh, I'm gonna decrease its vertical padding like this is vertical padding and uh, I'm gonna add a box effect box shadow effect here like uh, it should be around 5 5 and uh, let me decrease the opacity okay so this is and the uh, shadow effect you can see on this side okay uh, so we can decrease um, drop down width as well okay so uh, let me design this button according to our color theme and uh, this should have color of like this color i'm gonna design okay i will give it a padding sorry let me go back button color and again click here now i'm gonna give it a border radius of like uh, four pixels no it should be minimum six pixel and uh, go to content and the okay go to style and uh, let me change its color let me duplicate it now this is duplicate click here and uh, you can go to horizontal now these two are in horizontal alignment and let me sorry let me paste this color here and uh, this should be white and uh, border type should be solid and the border should be of one pixel like two pixel and the border color should be obviously this one and uh, its hover should be text should be the white and uh, the color should be the same one this one okay the transition duration you can set 0.7 or something like that okay this is 0 0.7 you can do it as well for this button go to hover give here 0 0.7 and uh, text color will be the same one and uh, the color should be the white but the border color will be the same and uh, And you can go here border for solid and it should be at least two pixels you can see okay go to normal and for normal also the border color should be the same okay now click here and right here like you can right here log in and here you can write sign up okay you can paste link here and uh, now let me increase the size of this section okay click here and go to advanced and uh, remove margin and padding from this section okay click here and also remove margin and padding for that one click here and remove margin and padding for that one click here and remove margin and padding for that one also now click here and uh, add some custom padding on top and bottom it is it is low you can add more here like you can decrease the size of these social icons you can click here you can click here and you can add some custom okay uh, let me do it more okay now what you you should do 
you should do it uh, same as for this one click here and go to advanced remove and uh, hit update now let me check how it does it look like okay and now uh, these should be on the right side so let me do so okay click here go to layout and decrease this one up to this and click here and uh, increase it up to like that and hit update okay go there and hit reload okay everything is working cool but uh, here is no link for this one copy the link and go to custom url paste the link and you can use it as home button now everything is done but uh, the uh, it is not sticky right now so what you have to do is you can click it here and uh, go to advanced tab and uh, you can write here css id or css class i'm gonna write here sorry header and uh, hit update so i will use hash in other words okay let me open again this dashboard okay go to appearance and fixed widget and uh, it is old one you can replace it or you can add also you can use both at one time also save changes and now let me check reload okay everything is working perfectly everything is working perfectly you can scroll and uh, it's sticky on every page you can see 